What is up everyone? Today we're going to be doing a rear fender delete on my bobber. This is something I've always wanted to do. Let me show you everything that you need for this installation. I'm going to be using the Street Pilot subframe plate. It's very nice, metal and affordable. Comes with a bolt-in washer and this. I will show you for what it's used later. And then this is the kit from Indian Motorcycle. You get the seat, everything that you need, bolts and washers. And yeah, and I'm gonna be using this tail light. It's gonna be for a different video though. It's also from Street Pilots. It's gonna be mounted right under my solo seat, right under there. So stay tuned for that one. Those are the four bolts under the fender that you need to remove. They are 15 millimeter socket. We ended up using a wrench for the bottom ones. They're already loosened up, so I just gotta remove them and this will be up. I also have to disconnect my light. I almost forgot about that. Actually, I lied. I forgot that there is a Torx head bolt right there. It is a T40. Shout out to Indian Motorcycle for sending me this toolkit in my ambassador days. I have a T40 right here. So now what we're going to do with this piece of foam, we're gonna stick it in the inside of your plate because as you can see here, there is a gap in between the plate and the close-up bracket. So this is to make sure the battery compartment does not get as much water. Oh, I think I did it wrong. Okay, foam is on there. I messed up the easiest part. Bolt and washer that comes with the plate. As you can see right here, we were not able to line up the bolt with the holes on the plate with the frame. There was absolutely no wiggle room here. There's actual drilling oil, but we don't have that, obviously. Yeah, we're using this plate. This. And what size is this compared to what <clears throat> we had before? Is, uh, this, this is just a half inch drill bit. It took like not even a minute. The holes in the plate were not lining up with the holes on the frame, so we had to make the holes bigger. And um, we tried every method. We got the rear tire off the ground. We loosened up both shocks. We pulled on this as hard as we could to try to make it fit, but that wasn't working. The only thing that worked was making the holes bigger on the plate, and that worked perfectly.
So there she is. I officially have a bobbed bobber. I think the white looks so much better now. I was a little bit iffy with the white. I didn't really like it when I had the rear fender, but now it looks completely different. And also that plate looks really good. So I did message Street Pilots about the holes on the plate, not having enough wiggle room. And he said that he's gonna redrill the holes for future customers, so that's taken care of. Other than that, this plate is nice, it's metal, it's affordable. I think it's at 150 US, I'm not sure. Um, but I do have a part two video coming. It's gonna be my Street Pilots tail light that's gonna be posted right after this video. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching and peace out.